I honestly don't know how or what method Leonhardt used, but somehow he dug himself deeper into a hole with more controversies. I didn't think it was humanly possible for a PokeTuber to have this much controversies surrounding him in such a short period of time. I honestly didn't want to make a video about this because I didn't want to beat someone that's already down, but there was just so many things I wanted to say. And I'm going to be as fair as possible to Leonhardt. Okay, this isn't a promise, it, but if he says dumb stuff, I'm going to call him out on it. Because at the end of the day, I want to say my opinion without the fear of getting canceled. See, I made a video about Leonhardt a while ago, pretty much explaining why he is getting hate and explaining all the allegations. See, some people took that as direct hate towards him. And that video, I wasn't even sharing my opinion too. I can't even think about how many people are gonna take my words out of context and how much people are gonna take my opinion for hate. Again, this is not for hate purposes. Just let me say my freaking opinion. All right, so a couple days ago, Leonhardt released a video titled, I'm done. Now to the naked eye, what do you think this means? If you compiled all the stuff he did in the past and how his viewership is declining rapidly and how much controversies he gotten himself involved in, and if your first thought while looking at this was, oh, so he quit YouTube, right? You, you didn't even need to watch him. You, you already know what he implied. He obviously intended you to think he was quitting. In other words, clickbait. An often theme you would see on his channel and one of the main reasons why fans started to dislike him. It's because he does these clickbait videos and without a single innovative idea. So let's see what his whole video was about. And maybe his reasons and words will change my mind about him. I'm done. Just like Ash is leaving Pokemon to start a new journey, I've decided I'd like to start one myself. But with y'all. I've been doing YouTube for almost a decade now. Been through the ups and downs, meeting incredible people in the community, I even quit being an attorney to open up Pokemon cards full time. In fact, it's been an amazing 10 years. I got to grow with y'all. I met and married my wonderful wife, Rebecca. I even had a kid. 47 seconds in the video and he's again implying something huge is gonna happen. Something almost sad. Is he gonna quit YouTube after all? And just to be fair with him, him being a dad and marrying his wife is awesome. H huge accomplishment. And I, I very hope for the best of him and his family. My goodness, I have been doing this each and every single day, at least as far as either recording, brainstorming, editing, because I was doing literally everything, even editing, up until the year 2020 when I finally started getting an actual editor to help me out with things. I never took a break, and it finally, <laughs> hit me, I know I'm laughing, more of like in disbelief, because it finally hit me that I was just doing too many things, too many projects. All right, first, uh, as fans, we are not responsible to comment down below on your videos and say, please take a break, okay? You can always take a break, something that people with actual jobs can't. You're in a very good position where even if you take breaks, people will still come back to watch you content. There is nothing holding you back to take a time off and spend time with your family. Again, take this as you will, but it almost feels like guilt tripping. Maybe I'm overanalyzing things, but that's just my genuine opinion. Again, I could be completely wrong about this and you can have your own opinion about that. And it got to where a new week would come and if you were not hitting those right type of algorithmic type of trends or things, not that I ever really tried doing those. I always like just opening up vintage packs and not that I ever really tried doing those. I always like. Now, I want you to remember his words when he said, not that I even tried doing that. Okay, so he's saying he never tried chasing the algorithm right? So I want you to remember that, okay? Fair enough. Thing, but that being said, if you really didn't go all in with those types of things, chasing that algorithm, for instance, you know, it wasn't as successful. That's where I really kind of lost my passion for it. And I still wouldn't put out a video if I wasn't proud of it, but it still, to me, felt like I was putting out videos just to put out videos because of the algorithm and I kind of lost my creativity and passion with it with hitting the wall.
What the heck? I didn't think it was possible for someone to contradict themselves in mere seconds. First, he says he never chased the algorithm, and now he's saying because of chasing the algorithm, he lost his passion for YouTube. So he just admitted he was chasing the algorithm, and yet he said he wasn't chasing the algorithm just a couple of seconds ago. See, that could be a complete miss up and something that he didn't mean, but I, okay, uh, uh, I'm, oh, I'm losing brain cells. So he just admitted he's chasing the algorithm. And you know what he's doing in this video? He's doing clickbait thumbnails, which is chasing the algorithm. I didn't know it was possible for him not to realize what he said contradicted the whole argument and contradicted his whole entire video. Like, if you're gonna do a serious and very serious moment and video for your fans, you at least have to not contradict yourself. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty big important factor in making a serious video. And you know what? It's fine to chase the algorithm. Everyone chases the algorithm, but the way he talks almost makes us feel like he's forced to chase the algorithm. Again, no one is forcing you. And I'm not making this video, I'm not talking today to let you know that I'm quitting or for a fact of that matter that I'm even taking a break. I have not been, in fact, I have been hard at work for so long trying to get to this single point that is literally today, this video that I am recording. Well, there you have it, folks. He is not quitting. He is not even taking a freaking break. What was even the point of this video? Here is my plan and I would love for y'all as the heart squad, as the community, for anyone else watching to come with me on this new journey through the ups, through the downs. Instead of posting three videos a week, regular unboxings in here, and I'm not completely going away from that, so hang with me, I have been working on and will be releasing extremely, or at least I'd like to think so, more well thought out uh, high quality videos that obviously have to do with Pokemon and Pokemon cards. You have to be joking. This whole video was to say, you're going to do higher quality videos. Now I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Doing the higher quality videos will be beneficial for him. And you know what? Maybe he'll move on from doing these clickbait videos. But the whole video as it stands is clickbait. We don't need you to make a whole video to explain you're going to do better content. You as a creator is responsible to do that from the very beginning. And again, I'm very happy that he's doing these videos and moving on from these clickbait stuff. But again, this whole video feels like he's begging us to watch his newer, higher quality videos. I'm also gonna be live streaming, finally, yes, I know, starting Wednesday and every Wednesday after that, starting with Wednesday, March 1st, I'll be live stream streaming here on this platform, YouTube. Oh. It almost feels like you're doing this because someone else is pretty successful with this, huh? Oh, I don't know who. It's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, mm, Another case of him trying to chase the algorithm. Okay, but the thing is, I'm going to give him another benefit of the doubt. Doing live streams doesn't necessarily mean he's copying PokeRev and chasing, quote unquote, the algorithm. Live streaming has been around for a while now on YouTube. So it, that could mean he's just trying to become closer to his fan base. Uh, it's just kind of coincidental that he's all of a sudden want to do live streams when some Someone very big just surpassed him, and someone very big got very big while doing this type of content called live streams. Again, take this as you will. I could be completely wrong, and you know what? You could comment down below if you want. Tell, tell me how wrong I am. Please, I'm begging you. Tell me how wrong I am. The rest of the video is pretty much just saying he's excited for the new content he is putting out. And you know what? I want him to succeed. I want him to. I want him to learn from his obvious mistakes. And you know what? This may be something that could save his channel. But if he continues to do the same charade, he's gonna lose a lot more people. Again, I want this guy to be successful and I want him to have a new beginning. And I hope for the best for him. He just needs to accept why people are frustrated with him. People aren't hating just to hate. There is an actual reason, alright? People don't do this just to do it. And if you think that after all this, there, there isn't some sort of problem, then I don't know what else I can prove to you. Again, people aren't mad 
just for nothing. There's an obvious reason why. Same reason that there's an obvious reason why people like him. It goes the opposite way and you just need to accept that. You can just tell me your opinion down below. Again, this video isn't hate towards him. I'm just trying to say my opinion. Just please take this video with a grain of salt. Don't attack him as well if you are a supporter of mine. You don't, don't attack him. That doesn't achieve anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, then you could like it. If you don't, you could dislike it. Whatever makes you happy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, see you later, weebs. Ah!